Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe. And today I'm doing a quick video of my experience going to a freestyle concert. I am from late 80s, early 90s, and so I grew up with freestyle. For those of you guys that don't know what freestyle is, you're about to find out or Google it. My husband got me some tickets. We went with our crew. I was so excited and we had a great time. It was at this club named Fuego over here in Orlando. Concert started at 11.30, but you know, entrance was at nine o'clock. So we got there, we're dancing, we're drinking, having a great time. My experience though, it was okay. It was okay because I love freestyle, okay? But no offense to the artist, but you know, they're getting a little old for this, you know, a little too old. And the concert, it wasn't organized very well. It wasn't put together very well. And the concert finally started half an hour late. It looked like no one knew who was coming up, who was gonna perform. First performance of the night. Dude, where you at? I wish it was a little bit more organized because even between artists, like they called Cynthia and then they'll call Issa Mendendez, but they weren't ready. Then the hype man had to kind of like kick a little time in, try to figure out what to do, talk to us, hype us up. So the crowd was getting a little like feisty and a little like, come on already, you know? With that being said, you ready? You not ready? DJ! So give it up! Bring it up to the stage right now! Jayquan! You ready? <laughs> the performance were great. Some of the artists that came up, I don't remember them. Lisa Menendez came up. She was good. She did her thing. Asia, Naeja, I believe she came up, she did her thing. She's called the Freestyle Princess. She came up, she did her thing. Her voice was a little, uh. Cause he was trying to like um, infuse freestyle with like hip hop or like rock. I don't know what he was doing. So he kind of like, I don't know what he was doing. You'll see, you'll see. I was a little embarrassed. And I don't know about you guys, but when I'm watching something on TV or something's happening and it's embarrassing, I don't know why I feel like it's happening to me. And I'm like, I can't watch. Oh my God, I can't watch, I can't watch. And so this I had to change the channel. And so I was so embarrassed for him. Drugs, man. 
did his dream boy dream girl with Cynthia that's iconic that's you know that always takes me back that was great but the stuff before that I don't know what he was doing it was kind of interesting <laughs> was great because you know when you're with good friends good crowd the music was great and we had a great time and definitely we'll do it again just because it's always good times you know remembering and doing your old man I was busting out with the wop you know y'all remember the wop the cabbage patch remember the cabbage patch I can't do the you know kid and play now but you know kid and play but that was more like you know like the, the hip-hop and stuff like that but we were doing our dances you know the hoop, the hoop. Eh, eh. Eh, don't give me the snake. Eh, eh. You know, you girl used to dance back in the day, so come on now, bring it. But anyways, that was my experience. <laughs> we had a great time, guys. So I hope you enjoyed those clips. So before you guys leave, make sure to click on that subscription button, click on that notification bell, so you know when my videos are popping. Don't forget to drop a like, guys. And meanwhile, as always, remember to be blessed. Mwah. Peace out.